Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. You guys, me and this new mic are vibing. I hope you can hear very well because I kind of move some things around. So I've never done this before, but I think it's important because the love I have for this powder is immense. I got this Givenchy powder two years ago, a while ago, and I love it. And look, I'm damn near done with it. This is the shade number four. It's amazing. It sets well. Great, great, great. And then when I finished it, I'm like, wait, I have to re-up because it is one of my favorite powders. But instead of getting the same shade, let's get shade number three, which is more of a pink powder. You guys know pink powder is all the rage these days. So let's try it out. This review is going to be a little bit different because I know I love the powder. We know this powder is good, but do we love the shade? And does it perform as well, as well as the original? I know this powder is super popular. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you some info about it so we can get familiarized with it. The also popular Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Setting and Finishing Powder retails for $59. I got a new shade. It's the shade three, an ultra finely milled setting powder that resists caking and is designed to mattify, blur, and illuminate the complexion for a perfect makeup result. The highlighted ingredient is vitamin E that provides antioxidant protection. And now that we have all the info, she's pricey. That's why I got it on sale because it's $59 and you get how much? 0.42 ounces. For example, the Laura Mercier is 0.7. Laura Mercier comes in like a big container. So I always like to have this as a quick reference because this thing's big. I would say this is like mid-size. You know, Laura is like, I think the biggest. So let me tell you what I have on my face so we can get started. I started off using the Kosa's Dream Beam sunscreen as my sunscreen and my primer. Let that dry down for about five minutes. Then I went in with the Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Pen. I'm over here trying to find my shade and you guys, I finally found it. It's NW35. Look at that shade. It is literally perfect. I'm so excited. And then I went in with some cream blush using the Marigold shade from Juvia's Place using the liquid blush. You guys know these are so pigmented and I love them because they're super, super vibrant as you can see. Then I color corrected these ojeras with my Shape Tape color corrector in the shade yellow. Let that sit for a little, blended it out. Then I used my full, full coverage Makeup Forever concealer in the shade 3.5. Blended that out with my sponge so we get that good coverage, you know, because she's thick. So now that we know what is on the skin, anytime I review powders, I like to use cream products because you guys know I have oily skin. And I like to use products that one, I know and love and creams creams tend to create a little more moisture a little bit more hydration on the skin so that's how we test the powder out you know oh it's pink look you see that okay okay open her up they come with the powder puff and look you see you see the pink my favorite part and the most satisfying oh Right. Dang, this is sealed. Let me put this hair up because it's kind of getting on my nerves. Let's do this motion right here. Oh, oh, let's see. So the way I like to just put it on the cap is go like this. I bring it back and then I use kind of what's at the top. This is a very nice shade. It's like a light pink. Let me show you a comparison to the Laura powder that I just received, received, reviewed, and the Huda powder. Let me show you on my phone. This is how the the powders look so Jimon she is that light pink but it's kind of like a mixture because of all of those shades right there here's Huda Beauty Huda Beauty is more of a darker pink slightly and then you see Laura is more of a peachy pink dang kind of like this and let's see here let me let's just try them all okay so Laura Givenchy and Huda you see that? You see how they're finely milled? The one that usually sticks more is because it's a little more on the finely milled side. Oh, you guys, the battle of... Ah! 
Ah, hold on, let me put this away before I make a big mess. You guys, this is literally the battle of the pink powders that you saw. I love the Lorac pink powder. It's great, but it's not available, so I didn't bring it out. These three are available and are ready to purchase. They're at Sephora, and I kind of like this. This looks really, really pretty. And oh, if you don't know my obsession for setting powders, it's real. And the reason why, one, I have oily skin, two, I have textured skin and creasy under eyes, and three, setting powder makes or breaks your makeup, point blank, period. We can look cute now, right? But once we set it, it just blurs the skin. And that's what I typically look for in a setting powder is that it's smooth, it's mattify, and it sets the entire face, the eyelids, under eyes, and the skin. If it's only setting the skin nicely, it's a no for me. You know what I'm saying? Because if we're paying $59, it needs to set every single thing, our neck too. Just kidding. I'm gonna reset everything because all this talking I've been doing, you wanna make sure everything's ready to go. If you see that your blush, you see how my blush is a little faded? You can get your brush again or add a little more blush. This is all before you set your skin so that you're completely ready. Because we got pigment for days here. I need to be careful. And we're gonna go on top of powder so it's gonna lessen the vibrancy of any cream products. I'm not wearing a bronzer just because I want to just be blushy today. Lately, I've been setting with the brush. So I'm gonna get this compact brush. It's the 113 from BK. I really like it because look, it grabs onto product well. So I'm gonna set my eyes looking up and then looking straight ahead because this is how your eyes naturally rest. And then I'm gonna get my powder puff. A powder puff will give you a flawless look and also a bit of more coverage. It deposits more powder onto your face. I'm gonna grab some, even it out on my hand. I'm just pressing it in, I'm not wasting. And then I'm just gonna press. I concentrate in the middle first, just because that's where I get the oiliest. And then as I'm doing tapping motions like this, tapping and setting the entire face. And then I'm going on top of that cream product and setting that down as well. I already can see the blur on this skin. Oh my my lids here and then i'm gonna press powder in my under eye area wow okay hold on let me just set the rest i like my look to be matte i'm just a matte girl because throughout the day i'm literally gonna look like i'm wearing highlighter you will see or if you haven't you know you guys know the familia knows here okay damn gina you see that smoothness <gasps> what Look at the lid. Smooth, under eyes, smooth. I kind of like this shade. This shade melts into the skin nicely. I can go either or. This doesn't highlight, I feel like, as much as this is doing. It's not highlighting a ton because it's not a super brightening powder, but it's giving the skin a little more, I don't know, a little something. And this one's old, so it's like, it's already mixed in and you know. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, okay, again, let me get these ojeras. It's so funny because the last time I got the Givenchy powder, like the first time, that was my first Givenchy product I purchased. I ended up loving so much, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna set. Oops, I think I got too much. It does have that perfumey scent that the other one does have, but Givenchy is a little on the perfumey side. But as good as this powder is, I'll take perfumey any day. You guys know I'm so sensitive to scent. I'm down. I'm down for this one. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. And you see how like blush no longer looks that intense. You could leave it like this or add powder blush. It's all up to you. Setting powders will settle things down, kind of lessen things if they look too intense. Literally brings everything together. I know I sound super dramatic when I say it, but like the way powders have really changed the game. Just for me, oh wait, did I set my under eyes? I mean this lid, I forgot if I did. The way it's just changed the game, I just love it. I'm just like, oh. and look, matte for days. And look at the lids, right? And look, let me look up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever remains, you can kind of just buff. And anytime I do a setting powder review, I'm not going, I don't ever use foundation powder. I typically use foundation powder like on an everyday if I'm doing like my everyday makeup, but not today. Okay. Oh, my God. 
I'm so excited. Okay, it is 9.25 in the AM. You guys know we're gonna do an all day wear test today. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna finish up the face, add some music, and then I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, peinadita y todo. So this powder, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's see how it looks. It's been maybe about an hour cause I've been like chilling. And yeah, it's warming up very, very nice. I added some eyeshadow and eyeliner cause I don't know, I was feeling, I wanted to do like a whole look. And then literally as I remembered, I'm doing my eye look, I have to go to the eye doctor today. So this may be gone by the time I come back do my final check-in, but that's beside the point. Let me look up so you can see. Ooh. Yeah, this shade is bomb. Like I thought it would be a little bit too light, but it's not. Let's do a flashback test. Sometimes powders, especially powders that are too light or that can be too light or that just kind of sit on top of the skin and don't really absorb into the skin can give us like a flashback when we do a flash photograph. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Or maybe a little. What do you think? Am I tripping? No, 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 no. I thought really quick it was. And also you guys, I started off with the Too Faced blush and then I realized, no, I'm going for the peach vibe. So I went with a little bit of the peach blush of House Labs, which kind of just goes better. Let's go in front of the window. It, it's been so gloomy. I don't know when the sun is coming out these days. And my lip combo is Melt and Caffeine. And then this one, it's not available anymore, I'm sorry. Okay, my, you guys, it is so gloomy today. My baby hairs are out too. But okay, this skin, is it me? Did it change the foundation? I don't know, let me know. I think my bronzer went down too low. It's okay. I like this. This looks good. I'm so excited. Amelia, Amelia, I'm back. It is, oh my God, it is almost 10 o'clock. You guys. I just uploaded my video in Spanish, so if you caught that, thank you so much. Woo! That was a fun one. But anyway, okay, let's continue. It's been, what, 12 hours? No, I got some footage for you at around, I think, 5 o'clock to show you how the skin was looking. See, I was pretty matte, like, a lot more matte than I ever anticipated. Skin was looking beautiful, beautiful. This powder is just legit. Here we are now, 12 hours later, like, nowhere near gastada. This hair a little bit. But look. Oh, really? <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's kind of fix that. Look. And my oils are barely coming through. It's just right here and it's 12 hours. I definitely was matte the majority of the day. I did use good products. The MAC foundation, the Kosa's SPF, everything really worked very well together, but this powder really sealed the deal. Oh, look at these under eyes, like an all good, all fresh. Anyone she is the goat in powders. I absolutely love this powder. I really like the pink shade too. I like both three and four, depending on your preference. If you're my complexion, you want something a little bit lighter, go with this one. If you want something that's just gonna melt into your skin a little better go with shade four but i love them i love them so so good fam let me know your thoughts oh, i'm just like very pleasantly surprised you know let me know if you're planning on picking this up or if you're in the hunt for a new setting powder let me know i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the bell right there and i'll see you in the next one bye